this particular committee, it was uh, led or really dominated by Labor and the Greens and this particular inquiry, it was triggered by One Nation Senator Pauline Hanson. So the committee chair, Sarah Hanson-Young, this is what she had to say yesterday. What we've found in this inquiry is that um, Ms Holgate was treated appallingly. She was humiliated by the Prime Minister in question time and that humiliation sealed her fate. We found that there was a lack of independence in the way the board uh, responded and that has undermined the integrity of the board. This report, while scathing, it isn't really likely to amount to much. The Liberal National Senators who were on the committee, they rejected these key recommendations. They insist that Communications Minister Paul Fletcher never made a formal direction for Holgate to stand aside, though he did uh, communicate with the board directly. Now, his office released a statement overnight. It says, The government has consistently acknowledged that Ms Holgate was an effective Chief Executive of Australia Post and I congratulate her on her new role at Global Express. Now, while the Australia Post chair, he also released a statement saying that they cooperated fully with this inquiry and also wished Ms Holgate well in her future. Pete.